Legal eagle. Well, when I first weighed it and it turned out to be 10 pounds light, I turned around and told the boys, this eagle is legal and it just stuck. And uh, it's kind of a, uh, a statement that there's a lot of airplanes out there that uh, the legality is a little in doubt on them. So this is, this is more than legal. It's 10 pounds under the weight. And what's the story behind this airplane? Uh, I mean, this is the first time I've seen it here at Simon Fine. Well, it's the first time it, it's really been anywhere except at my little airport there in, close to Houston. And uh, it had a lot of interest in it, sold a lot of plans to it, and people want to see it, and they keep asking me to bring it down here. And we went to a lot of expense and trouble to bring it, and right in the middle of preparing for it, I had a bad fall and broke my shoulder and, and uh, beat up myself pretty bad. But my neighbor stepped in, finished the trailer, and put the airplane in it and drove it down here for me. So uh, I thought that was real kind of them. So after them doing that, uh, I, I couldn't help but show up with it and uh, try to sort of more or less give everybody an idea that they can build an airplane without spending thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Now, this airplane's a little bit different. Uh, it's got a welded fuselage. Yes, sir. And what kind of wing are you using? Well, we're having an all wood wing. It is very similar to a Minimax wing in construction type of construction and airfoil. It doesn't have the full span ailerons, and which I really don't care for full span ailerons. So I made them uh, half span, and uh, it has aluminum tubing tail with pop rivet gussets, and the full wood wing, steel welded fuselage, the better half VW engine on the front of it, with this pair of propeller here, and uh, it just uh, seems to be the right combination. It flies great. It really does. Now, what, uh, give me some of the flight characteristics speed-wise and stuff on it then. Well, it, uh, it cruises great at 55 mile an hour, and it'll go to 63 if it's legal. And it stalls around 19, and it just does whatever you want it to. You move the stick, the airplane moves, and it's uh, real responsive. And it's just a real pleasure to fly and a lot of fun. It's standard stick and rudder uh, type of Stick and rudder airplane, just stick and rudder. There's no... Nothing exotic on the whole airplane. Maybe the aileron controls might be a little uh, different than most uh, things, but the, uh, all the cables are on the outside where they can be seen, and the uh, wings are completely sealed up. There's no way that a bug or a dirt dog or anything can get inside the wings. All the controls and struts and everything are on the outside, and uh, it, uh, where we live, we have to think about those creepy crawly things that get in your airplanes and I've sealed this baby up tight with the uh, Dacron. It's covered with Dacron and has uh, one coat of filler uh, which is called a uh, poly brush and then it also has a cross coat is what one coat is. Also it has a cross coat of poly spray which is the silver and that, that's the way it was left in the silver and that's a very light uh, covering job and that's the way ultralight should be very light. And this. Oh. This is not being offered as a kit yet, or are you bringing it uh, out as a kit? We, we have uh, welded fuselages available and materials packages, but actually the whole kit, with the most of it built for you, or the whole airplane built, no, that probably won't ever happen. This is supposed to be, the whole idea of this thing is it's economical. You can afford it if you want to do the work. You can afford this airplane if you want to do the work yourself. If you uh, have a lot of money and want to buy an airplane, well, this probably won't not your airplane. Now, if, uh, for example, you're offering it as a set of plans as well, too? Oh, yes, plans. That's, I've sold lots of plans to it. And uh, what, do, what do the plans uh, look like? Uh, like how many pages, what sizes? There are um, a cover sheet, of course, with the specifications on it. And there's nine sheets of written instructions and 42 sheets of drawings, two picture pages, and a uh, page of uh, materials that it takes to build it. And they sell for 50 bucks. And uh, that's uh, trying to keep the price down where people can afford it. If you really want to build something that flies nice, 50 bucks is not very bad for a set of plans. And how long would it take someone basically going from a set of plans to having an airplane up and flying? If you really get diligent at it and use all your spare time, I say six months. I built it in six months and, and I 
took off and went to Oshkosh in the meantime. <laughs> Came back and finished it. And uh, that should, uh, six to nine months, if you take longer than that, you're messing around. Now, what about the engine then? Uh, there, I mean, this is not just a standard Volkswagen engine. What have you done this to This is the uh, better half VW. It's the full case. I came up with a full case VW about 10 years ago where everybody else was cutting the cases and uh, discovered that everything you cut off, you have to put back on. You cut off the engine mount, you have to put back an engine mount on. You cut off the oil cooler, and you have to put an oil cooler on it because you don't have any oil capacity when you cut the case in two. And there's also a terrific amount of blow-by uh, crankcase pressures with a cut case. And this one here has very, very little blow-by. It's hardly any because of the volume of the case is so big compared to the pistons that come together at the same time to create that pressure. And it's uh, really a nice answer to uh, the half VW. That's why I call it the better half. <laughs> so it's a better half with the legal eagle. It's quite... Now, is the... Um... The retrofits or the things that you've done different to this engine are also available through the plans, or how would this oh, yes, get the engine for you? Now this is a prototype one with a single carburetor. I don't sell plans for this engine, but I had this engine laying around the shop for years and years. It's been on four or five other people's airplanes, and uh, I decided to build an airplane for it. And I never sold this engine. And the engines that I sell the plans to have two carburetors, and they hang right on the back of the head, and there's no chance for them to ever ice up hanging back there on the back of a hot head. But well, this little carburetor here could possibly ice up on you. And uh, so I don't sell plans to something like that if I can help it. But this engine runs great and does a good job for this airplane and I just hate to do any changes on it because it's doing so good like it is. If somebody wanted to get more information or get a set of plans for me, how do they get a hold of you? Well, they uh, can write or call L.E. Melholland at 281-934-8450. Uh, or it's Box 747, Brookshire, Texas, 77423. You've also got a website, I believe. The uh, website is uh, USA, uh, see, www.usastores.com better, forward slash better half. And the email is uh, leonard at fbtc.net. Thank you very much for your time then. Thank you, sir. Thank you.